Stand, stand up. Like Let's everybody look at you right now. Because you're looking great this morning. Take a look at Rhonda. Woo! Oh, okay. You're awake now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot day. It's been really hot in LA lately, so. I wanted to have options. Well, you can like, take that off too, the yeah. jacket. Yeah. Well, the studio is nice and cool, so okay. I want yeah. like you know clothes that I can actually are practical if, for if, the day. If we're to be honest, you walked in and you said to all, all the women here, "What? Well, I, I got to compete with you guys, right?" And we said yeah. you won. Yeah. You guys bring the game like early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems like um, we talked to you a couple of weeks ago. So much is happening for you yeah. and with you. Are are you in control of all of it? Or is it pulling you along? Uh, well, control, I don't know how I would use that word, but um, I'm maintaining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call it like juggling on a unicycle. It's like I haven't dropped any of the balls yet, but okay. uh, and anyway. Now, you know where you are today? Do you know what you're promoting today? <laughs> yes, Expendables 3 coming okay. out Friday, okay. August 15th. Go check it out. <laughs> now, what was it like for you, the obvious question? I mean, you, you, you come from a sport and a discipline where game face is important. You can't mm -hmm. show very much can't show fear, you can't show emotions, and now you're acting. It's mm -hmm. a different different deal, right? Yeah, I guess it's a lot more about, I, 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 just, I, I don't think that they're really that related, and when I'm fighting, it, it's totally not about whatever face I'm making, but it's still, I'm, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. It's, they're both high pressure situations, which I think that's how they translate um, with each other, but other than that, I think it's, it's an entirely different skill that I have to learn from scratch and just be humble and be like, okay, I'm a white belt in acting and I'm ready to, to put in my hours. Well, part of the role that you have, I mean, you're in your comfort zone in the sense that you're beating people up, you know, you're punching them, you're kicking them, you're doing your thing, but the acting thing is completely out of your element. Yeah, and um, you know, I like having something new and challenging to do. I think that's why I, I got tired of doing Olympic judo is that it, it it got to a point where I wasn't learning anything new. I was just learning how to do things I already knew better. Uh -huh. And so then I started doing MMA. That's how to learn five sports at once. And it was so I was so motivated because there's so much I didn't know. And now I have to kind of think about, okay, you have a short shelf life in MMA, and what am I going to do afterward? And mm -hmm. right, so uh, right. now I finally found that new thing that I don't know how to do. Well, you've managed to, uh, to take this particular discipline, in MMA, where no woman was famous, and now you are very famous, and it's well, a Well, Gina Carano was already famous in MMA. Is she in the movie, by the way? No, not in this one. Okay. Uh, are you competitive with her in any way? I mean, we're, we're both, you know, female fighters, and I would compete with her if I had mm -hmm. the chance, but uh, mostly I have her to thank for, for everything. For opening the because door. Because I, I never knew that women's MMA even existed until I saw her fighting Julie Kedzie. All right, now, now um, we're looking at this here. What, what are we, oh, this is short. Uh, that's a yeah. Toji Gari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I know how this one ends. Yeah, these are all actually proper judo throws. That was a Kosotogari. This is about to be an Osotogari. Hey, you know, you've been on the show a bunch of times, but I can't, uh, pardon me if, like, you've talked about this in the past, but I love the story. Your mom taught you how to do the arm bar. Mm -hmm. That's, like, your signature move. That's what you're known for. That's how you pretty much attack everyone. But I love the story of how she would just, like, you know, wake you up in the middle of the night and just tell you, always be ready. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, my mom was the Kato to my Green Hornet. and that I, that, That's what it sounds like, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I never really had my back up into the wall ever now because <laughs> my mom would sneak up behind me and like put me in a rear naked choke and yeah, stuff like that all the time just to make sure my reaction's really quick. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that now, you know. Yeah. She trained you in a sense. Yeah, she, she did. She wasn't ever my, my main coach. Right. Because she wanted to maintain that the distance between coach and mom. But she really was the architect of my whole career and mm -hmm. arranged the structure for all of my So training. when people uh, see you and they reach out to, to hug you or shake your hand, do you just knock them down? <laughs> no, actually, like... I make my money with my hands, and I have tiny hands. I have the yeah. smallest hands in all of the UFC. I have no way. I have smaller I'm hands. Serious. No, se oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, and you're right. not an MMA champion. She yeah. is. Yeah. It's, yeah. And so, uh, what was I going with this? You're going <laughs> with the fact that your mother made the separation between being uh, a, a trainer and a mother, right? Yeah. I don't even know how I got started on my hands at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I want to go back to the acting thing then. So now here you are with these most seasoned of all actors. They've done it all. They've seen it all. You have to go from here. You have to hit that mark. You know, the lighting is here. The camera's here. You have to know your lines, but act like you're saying them for Naturally, the first time. Yeah. Look, yeah. That's 
tough stuff, isn't it? It's tough stuff, especially holding like a real gun and having to like shoot, you know, blanks in between something and then run and do something else and stay over there. And uh, that's why I liked it so much is because there, I think like 75% of it I was already really good at, you know, I, I, my dad taught me how to shoot when I was like six years old and uh, my mom taught me how to fight and uh, <laughs> I just had to kind of rely on Sly and all of those other icons to kind of give me the advice and mentor me through the process. I'm just having an image of your house. You come home from school, your father shoots you with a gun, your mother jumps <laughs> on you, puts an arm bar on you, et cetera. Uh, this this uh, dream, I don't even know, this may be beyond the dream that you've had where you're going here, but it just seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The, yeah, once uh, you meet one goal, you have to come up with new yeah. ones, and I'm keeping it creative. When are you fighting next? I would like to fight again in January. Um, January is when they've postponed the big fight with Bones Jones, right? Yes, I would love to be on the same card with John and, and Daniel, and uh, we'll see. Fingers crossed. I okay. have to get myself an opponent first, too. Uh, your hand's about the same size. I Maybe know. Uh, you and Aroxia. Hey, <laughs> you can train me. Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> um, but enjoy the ride. It's awesome. You've become an entertainer. I think that's great. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying, Debbie, so. Give me a hand. Don't leave him hanging. Don't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's Ben Bullsby Opens uh, everywhere tomorrow, Rhonda. Always great to see you. Thank Congratulations. You. We're proud of you, Rhonda. You're Thanks. doing well. Okay.